this is Raina. Thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. In this video, we will crochet the butterfly table runner using fillet crochet technique. Uh, fillet means net or mesh in French, and it is uh, easy using just chains and double crochet stitches. Uh, we crochet a lot of these uh, little squares that make up the crit like pattern and create the butterfly image. So first we uh, follow the chart to make the butterflies and second step is to use contrast color to crochet two rounds of each. And I would say it is uh, easy skill level. And my table runner measures about 8 inches wide and 17 and a half inches long. And you can add as many butterflies as you'd like to make it longer. I use crochet thread size 10. This is um, Lydia's. This color is called Mimosa, mostly yellow. It has some white color in it. One ball has 300 yards. It's 100% mercerized cotton. And for the border, I'll use light purple. And my crochet hook is 1.75 millimeters. And this is my chart. It has uh, 28 blocks and 69 rows. Uh, this one is asymmetrical pattern. And this means that we have to read the chart from right to left on each odd numbered row, one, three, five, and from left to right on each even numbered row two, four, six. And fillet crochet is made up of two types of blocks. The white ones, white squares here are called open blocks and the black squares are called solid blocks. The open blocks are made with uh, two chains and double crochet and solid blocks are made with three double crochet stitches. And because each block has three stitches, uh, we have to start with the foundation chain of uh, 3 times 28, the number of blocks, which is 84, plus 5 for the beginning open block, so 89 chains. And make a slip knot. And chain 89. And the first row from the right, it's all open blocks. And you can put these little arrows or other check marks here in the beginning of rows to keep track. And for the first open block, we have to double crochet in eight chain from hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And uh, for the next open block, chain two. And now skip two chains, one, two, double crochet in the next. And repeat chain two, skip two chains, double crochet in the next.
rows uh, two and three are also only open blocks. And I have my first row of 28 open blocks made. And now to start each new row, first chain five, then turn, and now double crochet in the next double crochet. This is the beginning open block on each row. And then next open block is two chains and then just double crochet in the next stitch. And I will show you how to finish the row when you get there. And I need to make one last open block here. So chain two, and now just have to find the third chain from this stitch. One, two, and double crochet in it. And now make third row the same. Start with five chains. And all open blocks. And the fourth row from the left, we're going to add some solid blocks. So we start here with uh, eight open blocks, then five solid blocks, and 15 open blocks. Five chains for the beginning open block. And now we're making eight and next uh, five solid blocks so when we make solid blocks above open blocks we have to make two double crochets in a chain space and one in the next stitch so three double crochets for each block again two in chain space and one in a stitch. five solid blocks made and now continue make rest of them open blocks 15 and row five from the right we first make 14 open blocks then seven solid blocks and finish with seven open blocks I made 14 open blocks, now seven solid. First one goes here in that open block, so two double crochets in chain space, one in a stitch. And so here it's five, we have to just double crochet one in each stitch, and then here we have to make one more. And also a um, good option to keep track of your double crochets when you have uh, multiple solid blocks to make is to count the number of blocks multiply with three stitches. So if you want to count for seven solid blocks, you will make 21 double crochets.
I have 18 double crochets made. So I don't count this one here because this first one or because this is the part of the last open block. So start counting from these double crochets in chain space. So 18 made, three more, 19, 20 and 21. And now seven open blocks. Row six from the left, start with seven open blocks, then two solid, three open, three solid, and this is 13 open. I made seven open, next is two solid, so for two solid I will count six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now three open. When we make open blocks above solid blocks, so we first chain two and then skip two double crochets one, two, and double crochet in the next. three solid blocks three times three make nine double crochets one two three four five six seven eight and nine and now continue open blocks row seven from the right starts with seven open blocks then eight solid blocks five open one solid finish with seven open next is eight solid blocks First we'll make above open blocks, three, four, five, six of them, and then two more here above solid blocks. And you can also count 24 double crochets. Uh, 18 double crochets made, six more, so 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, eight solid blocks. Now five open, first one above solid, skip two double crochets, double crochet in the next. Four and fifth again, skip two double crochets. And now one solid blocks, so three double crochets. Finish with open blocks. Row eight from the left. So this is 12 open blocks, two solid, four open, four solid, and six open. Did 12 open, now 2 solid, 
So six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now four open. Skip two. And four solid. So I will count twelve. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. And now six open box. Row nine from the right, start with seven open, two solid, six open, one solid, three open, two solid, one open, three solid, three open. I did seven open, now two solid, so six double crochets, one. Six. Now six open blocks. And one solid. And then three open. And two solid. One open. And three solid. Finish with three open. Row ten from the left, two open, three solid, two open, one solid, one open, one solid, one open, one solid, six open, two solid, and eight open.
and now continue reading the chart same way next row 11 from the right and then 12 from the left until you have first butterfly finished row 24 I finished 24 rows and the first butterfly is made now I'm going to make row 25 one row of open blocks and then row 26 is where the second butterfly starts so when I finish the second one on row 43 then I will make two rows of open blocks before the third butterfly and then after the third butterfly to finish the piece I make three rows of open blocks so now continue until you have all 69 rows completed. I finished all my rows, cut off thread, fasten off. And now we can uh, make the edge. And to start the edge, with contrast color, I will join my purple here in upper right corner. This is the open block here. I'm gonna insert my hook in this middle uh, chain, make a double crochet. Then chain one double crochet one more in same stitch chain one and one more double crochet in the same stitch now double crochet in the next stitch chain one double crochet one more same stitch chain one double crochet one more so we always do here three double crochets and chain one between but now I'm going to skip next two blocks one two and in this next stitch do my three double crochets and chain one between and again after the third double crochet don't chain skip two blocks next stitch double crochet chain double crochet chain double crochet and repeat until the next corner At the end of the first short side here the next corner I'm going to now insert my hook in this uh, corner stitch make the same three double crochets with one chain between and then turn sideways starting the first long side and here I'm going to skip the next stitch and double crochet in the next. So again here now skip two blocks. One, two and double crochets. Again skip two blocks. One, two double crochet in the next stitch. repeat until the next corner at the end of the long side I did my last three double crochets in this 
last stitch now it's the corner open block I'm gonna do the double crochets in this corner stitch and then for the next short side I'm going to double crochet in the next stitch so not skipping two blocks but here in this stitch three double crochets and then continue same skip two blocks go in the next stitch the end of short side again three double crochets in last stitch and now three double crochets in corner so I'm gonna insert a hook here in this middle chain And now again the long side to start I'm going to skip two blocks one two the corner block and the next block and then insert hook in the next stitch and now repeat skip two blocks one two next stitch Double crochets. And I did last double crochets in the last stitch here, back to the beginning, and just slip stitch in our first double crochet. And we start uh, round two from here. First, chain four. And now I'm gonna do this spe special stitch uh, that I came up with to make this look better. So I'm going to uh, insert my hook in that second chain from hook. Then yarn over. Now go to that middle double crochet here. Pull, pull up a loop. Pull through two loops on hook. Now you have these three loops on hook. Yarn over, pull through all of them. Now chain two. And we're going to make two single crochets together in this in these next two double crochets so this is the last one of the three here in corner and this is the first one in the next set so insert hook through that first double crochet pull up loop then insert hook through the next double crochet pull up loop yarn over pull through three loops And from here it repeats. Chain four. Insert hook through that second chain from hook. Third from beginning. Then yarn over. And uh, start making double crochet in this next middle double crochet. It's the next stitch. So pull up loop, yarn over, pull through first two loops, 
yarn over pull through three loops and hook chain two and in next two double crochets two single crochets together so pull up loop in first one then pull up loop in next one yarn over pull through three loops And again, chain four, insert hook through second chain from hook, yarn over, insert hook in the next double crochet, pull up loop, yarn over, pull through first two loops, yarn over, pull, pull through three loops, chain two and two single crochets together in next two stitches so this extra move that we're we're doing here with the chains and double crochet is creating this nice top for these uh, pieces like a pointy top chain four insert hook through second chain from hook yarn over and make double crochet next stitch chain two and two single crochets together So now you can repeat this same in all of these parts and same in corners, so nothing different here. So just do this all around. And finished with all sides. Last two chains and now last two single crochets together this double crochet and then in that beginning stitch and then I just want to uh, slip stitch here in this beginning connection point and then cut off thread We win all these ends and it definitely needs uh, blocking so I will make it uh, wet 
stretch it out on my blocking mats, attach with pins and I like to use some spray starch to give it extra firm shape and then let it dry completely and I will show you next how I block my table runner. Here is the finished table runner. It looks great after blocking. I hope you have fun making your own butterfly table runner. You will find a link to written pattern in video description box. Thank you so much for watching and happy crocheting.